Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Brave New World, episode number nine. The last episode, we went ahead and just was again pressing forward on uh, getting our uh, iron smelting online and getting some iron gears made. Um, we are sharing it with the network with this passive provider chest. Um, the thing is, we only this is our last one. So we have to start generating a internal loop here um, of items onto belts uh, without the logistics network. Um, and using this passive provider where we need it to um, gain access. Um, gaining the access of that item that is needed um, a given time for the logistics network. Sorry, I <laughs> almost lost my train of thought there. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah, we're just going to continue forward here. I did some off-camera stuff. Um, the, I don't think you guys need to see me making the intermediate products here, items that we need to um, gain access to certain items. Like uh, green circuits and um, copper cables and stuff like that. I didn't really extend the wall. Well, I did a little bit, uh, but that was all done. I think the last, yeah, I believe so. The last episode. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and just um, tackle this. Continue forward here. All right. So we want another set of inserters here. And then as well as here and here. Okay, and then we're gonna put a power pole there and here. Okay, and did I make uh, more iron chests? I don't think so. I have two in the network. Okay. Actually, that is what I need here. So let's put the two iron chests there. And again, we're gonna... Okay, so the logistics network does not have iron anymore. It has run dry of iron. Um, so right now what we can do is Storage chest. Um, this one's not going to move for a little bit. I wonder if we could take. Are you empty? Oh, you are empty. Okay. Uh, let's take you down. And that gives me access to a requester chest. <clears throat> oh, that's a requester. That's not a passive provider, though. Okay. Um, anything in here? No, there is not. Okay, let's take that down. And then what we're going to do then is... Let's put a storage chest here for iron plates. <clears throat> if we need to, we can move it later on. Here they come. Okay, how are we doing on inserters? Uh, let's go make some. Yeah. Okay. What are we waiting for? Oh, we're waiting for iron. Which is... No power. 
Okay, we can fix that. There's plenty of gears. And we have 116 belts. Okay, so what we're going to want to do then is do I leave enough room here? Yes, I did. Okay. And then that's going to be a yeah, that's going to be its own belt there. Okay. So this one's going to be transport belts. Uh, what I should do is I should have made this. Yeah. I should have put this over here. Just not thinking about that. Now let's just do you. And. Believe it or not, we're going to need a this guy. And I'll show you in a second why. Just do six stacks. Yep, okay. And then we can do something like this. For belt production into the logistics network. <clears throat> okay. And this is all going to change later on, but right now it's what. Just do one stack of each. Okay. All right, so we have the iron, we have the copper right now. Perfect. Um, well, we can stop producing <laughs> copper cables. Okay, so we have plenty of gear production now. We have some in the network, and we have some for the base. Okay, <clears throat> we have to get uh, some copper smelting online here. Which means I'm going to need this verbal port that's here. Okay. Um, is there any robots in here? There is. How do we... Okay, there's no way to take the construction bots out of the robot port. Request the chest. I could put him there, right? And then request the bots back once I pick this up. Okay. 
That works. The only thing is these won't be able to be repaired, but that's fine. We're going to need that rubble port down here so I can finish this and work on... Okay. Let's put you there. Okay, and we will request our bots back to the network here. Excellent. Oh, we still have a storage chest there too, okay. <clears throat> okay. Calls for a light. Okay, we'll give it a light so you guys can see. I know it's not pretty right now, but it's what's gonna give us what we need. <clears throat> it is going to give us what we need. That's what matters right now. That's all that matters. Okay, you guys pick those up. back okay. set up some mining here the iron smelting is good but it's not a full pelt yet and we're gonna need that soon to be all right and we're running out of small electrical poles okay so we have some words still. Let's turn you into small power poles. Okay. That's good, that's good. Built. Um, I have a bunch of stone furnaces up here. 32 of them. Okay. Let's finish this off here. Oh, I'm gonna need to make some more inserters, which means more circuits. Okay, that won't, that won't be a problem. Ground belts, we're still good with. Um, we have some repair packs. In fact, let's put them in here right now. Excellent. Right, we have five poles left. <clears throat> the iron ore looks better here. Okay, I'm gonna do that. 
this. And these poles look like okay. Uh, looks like we're gonna need to make some more wooden planks here. If I can find them. I was like, what? Um, how are we doing with... Oh, we can make green circuits here. Let's do that in the meantime. <clears throat> okay. So we're getting the coal on that side. Let's put the iron here. And then we're going to need 26 miners. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9 so far. Okay, so we're going to need to make some more miners too. Okay, let me just turn those into small power poles. We have three miners there. We're gonna need to make some more. Oh, you're not, you're not requesting cables. I was like, what? Okay, that's why. does not need to be 600 anymore. Let's just make that 100. Okay. He's up on the copper for a little bit. <laughs> Alright. I was so slowly going to extend this. I also have to watch out for the biters. Oh, that's covering that. That's why it's not covered. All right, so we have to fix this here because it's not right if this this and that and then we're gonna have this that and that that get rid of the light cut the power for this whole area. Whoops, okay. Not a problem. Oh, and we need you to come back. And then the light we will put where will we put the light? Here I guess. Okay. Ever so slowly, gonna be able to fill this all up. Um, those three other miners. Let's put them. Over here. Okay. We still need to put a robot board here. 
so we can expand expand power and put a radar at this corner here <clears throat> um I, mean, I guess I could move this to do that right What is it doing? That was weird. <laughs> but okay. no more inserters here so let's make some more okay, everything's starting to pick up here I know it's still a process uh, but unfortunately I'm out of time for this episode so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up here um, of course if you like the video uh, please go ahead and consider throwing me a like really helps out the channel um, if you would like to um, jot down any comments or questions you might have or want to just tell me what you like to see in this series going forward please always uh, consider throwing me a comment down below as well and uh, while you're at it um, you've been watching this long uh, this far um, please also consider throwing me a another subscription or subscribe to my channel as well um, <clears throat> but um yeah again thank you for joining me in this episode of factorial and um, stay tuned as we pick up the base here and next episode we'll work on our copper plate smelting but uh, again thank you for joining me in this episode of factorial and like always i will see you guys next time bye bye